What's up, Taurus? Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in and welcome to your monthly reading for Feb February 2021. Yeah, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross watcher here. Um, so please fit this into your life however it fits. Don't try and cram it somewhere that it doesn't fit naturally. Yeah, um, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. That definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm helps get those videos out there. If you'd like more content, uh, content from me, if you, if you're vibing with how I flow and all that, and you would like to join us over on Patreon, join the unicorn herd a over on Patreon, patreon.com backslash divine conversations link can be found in the description box below for that. We have morning coffee, daily readings over there, plus monthly love readings and some extra good stuff, twin flame readings and all of that. So check me out over on Patreon, yeah? Um, all right, so let's just get into this here for you, Taurus. So here's the deal. I feel like you're in a very good place, Taurus. Um, you are you are in the midst of closing out a cycle and moving from one reality to the next, Taurus. What I'm feeling here, there is a big shift for you. There could be a shift in your friend circle. There could be a shift in your family dynamics. But wherever you it is you find yourself right now, Taurus, you're in the opportune time or time-space continuum, I guess you could call it, or time-space energy in your life to really dream up something new, dream up your an ideal life for yourself or something better than what you may have had in the past or what you're emerging from, okay? Um, and I'm getting that from your pre-shuffle cards here. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Let's stop there for a second because this right here feels like the lesson that you have learned recently um, that's causing a big closeout, a big shift in your reality. And that's come from Queen of Pentacles, you learning this lesson of self-worth and always deciding to put yourself first so that you can remain in an abundant and prov a providing energy, so that you can remain um, in an energy of growth, of abundance, of nurturance, because um, the Queen of Pentacles is abundance, yes, but she's more on the life-giving side of that, of that abundance, and um, I feel like you're in this energy of understanding your worth a lot more, which has brought you to this Six of Wands energy of victory, which has helped you close out a big, major life cycle for you, Ten of Pentacles, okay? I do feel like for some of you, this is a major lesson that you were needing to learn um, in this lifetime specifically, in this incarnation specifically. And now that you, it seems that you have learned that lesson or you're coming to, to the completion of that lesson. To that, from there, we have the King of Cups, which is a very emotionally mature energy to the Six of Pentacles. Now, it seems that your graduation here from this lesson of the Queen of Pentacles, learning your self-worth, has now put you in an energy of being um, self-sufficient um, and uh, I'm hearing magnetizing, that's great, but also, or uh, I should say magnetic, magnetic, excuse me, um, but with this King of Cups, Six, Six of Pentacles energy, there is this, there's this mind, uh, this air about you, this mind space that you're in right now that's like, look, if it's not a reciprocal situation, if the balance between give and take is not there, then I just don't want to be involved with it. And this does have a lot to do with some people from your past. There could be some, like I said, family or friend circles or friend or relationships that you could be pulling away from just because it's not a balanced or reciprocal relationship. Okay, this is, this feels like uh, relationships that could in, um, include like energetic vampires and stuff like that. And But the point of view that you have in this King of Cups energy, Taurus, is not an energy of, well, I'm better than you, this, that, and the third, whatnot, whatever. It's literally a very strongly compassionate energy. And it's really just a matter of being able to protect yourself and being wise enough and emotionally grounded and stable enough to look at a situation from a very emotionally mature point of view and say, okay, either I can or I can't be a part of this because it is either is or is not balanced and reciprocal. Okay. 
Now, what's giving to this element of the dreamer energy or being in this space to dream up a new reality or just really allowing yourself to dream is this page of cups that is underneath the bottom of the deck with the empress other that, excuse me, the, em the empress under that to the two of wands. Interesting. To the two of cups, to the emperor. This is very interesting, you guys. You have the balance between masculine and feminine here in the emperor and the empress. And I do feel like that's the energy that you're putting forward right now. I do feel like some of you are making a decision to come out of some sort of emotional or romantic relationship. I did put the two of cups down. And when I put it down, I put it down upside, uh, uh, upside down, reversed. So I feel like some of you are making a decision in terms of bettering your life and moving out of some sort of romantic situation that actually may be codependent here, okay? But also the Two of Cups for, for some of you is representing that balance and harmony and union between masculine and feminine, right? So you're dreaming up a new reality. Page of Cups to the Two of Wands to the Empress. The Empress is you. Actually, the Empress is can represent your energy, Taurus, but also the Empress represents balance, harmony, uh, 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 fertility, and receptiveness, right? Having that balance and that harmony between the masculine and feminine within your life, the Two of Cups, and then the masculine coming forward and protecting you against the past. Okay? Protecting you against what just wants to enslave you mentally or what wants to keep you locked down or burdened. Not focusing on that two of swords and instead focusing on the ace of cups, the cup of self-love, focusing within, focusing on your healing journey to the nine of cups, bringing you satisfaction and clarity and, and happiness. And ultimately then there's that king of pentacles. So we do have um, balance and receptivity, well, well, no, I'm sorry, reciprocity and balance in between uh, masculine and feminine energy here for you, for some of you. All right, Taurus. For others of you, um, you are, has something to do with twin flames and twin flame energies in the Empress. Um, uh, choosing to love yourself if you're more on the feminine side or if you're becoming more acquainted with the feminine elements the divine feminine, the rise of the divine feminine. There are some of you out there that are literally leaving twin flame relationships behind or twin flame connections or bonds with narcissistic masculine energies that once were considered to be divine masculine, but they are just keeping up that karmic cycle of the same old, same old. So they're really basically just a karmic energy. Okay. But I feel like if that's the case for you, that's happening because you are finding that connection, that union with the masculine within or that union with the feminine within that's allowing you to recognize or realize the toxicity in, in between a uh, connection with you and somebody else. All right, Taurus. All right. Cool. So with that said... I'm going to give this one more shuffle and then we're going to get into the rest of your spread here. Yeah. One shuffle here. All right. Taurus. So let's get into this here and see what else we have for your month. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans at this, this time, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies involved for Taurus for the month of February of 2021. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Taurus. Five shuffles here. One. Two. For my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2021. This is three. Three. 
Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Four. For the month of February 2021. And five. All right, Taurus. Let's cut the deck here. All right, overall energy for you, Taurus. We have, damn, we have the Page of Cups again. All right, so this is really a great time for you to be dreaming right now, to dreaming up your new reality. So there may be, I mean, uh, it's January, February, so things are pretty, probably pretty slow right now, business-wise. Um, we do have, we're still dealing with, you know, that big monster that we've been dealing with for a while. And so you may have a lot more time on your hands to really dream and dream up a new reality. And I do feel like for some of you, you recently lost probably a good amount of stuff. Maybe you've lost a job, a business, a home, or a bunch of possessions or something. Something feels like Taurus, something has really cleared out of your energy recently. And you have more time, more space, more energy to, to dream with, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Page of Cups again. Underneath that is the Three of Pentacles. And underneath that is the Ace of Pentacles. Finally, with the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's that Nine of Cups again. And what I feel like here for you, Taurus, is you really have the space and the energy to dream up a new reality, and if and, and and not necessarily just to dream, but to actually work towards that. Three of Pentacles. You may be in an energy of working together with someone else to create this new beginning for you. However, I do feel like uh, for some of you, you could be you could be working with someone. Others of you, you could be just working with yourself, and you actually could be dreaming up a new job for yourself a new career path. Uh, you may be going into business for yourself or at least looking to go into business for yourself. I feel like whatever it is you're dreaming up right now, Taurus, to now is the perfect time for you to do that. For you to either get the ball rolling. If you have a dream already that you want to start working on, now is the time to do it. For others of you, now is just the time to work on develop the, developing this in your mental space. But ultimately, whatever it is you're dreaming up, whatever new reality it is that you're creating for yourself right now, the fact of the, the most important aspect of it, Taurus, is that you focus it there. Wow. You focus it in terms of what is going to be satisfying to you. Nine of Cups. What is going to bring you satisfaction? And I know I've, I understand this kind of can be seen as a little bit of a selfish energy, but it's not. It's it, focusing more on the three-dimensional world. I feel like your focus right now, Taurus, is how you can make your life better in terms of bringing more happiness into your life physically, in terms of the way your 3D reality looks right now. Because there's a sense of self-worth. There's that Queen of Pentacles again. Whoa. Queen of Pentacles then to the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's a sense of self-worth here that you really tuned into recently. And it's almost as if, well, not almost, it's very much as if, Taurus, that no one can really tell you right now what it is you should want, what it is you should be working for, how it is things are supposed to look or should look for you right now. No, you are developing that all on your own. You are coming to an understanding of that all on your own. You are manifesting or you have the opportunity to manifest exactly what it is the way the, uh, what it is you want the exact way that you want it to look the exact way that you want it to feel manifesting from what it is you feel is best for you what is your satisfaction here 9 of cups and this is all coming from a place of understanding your self-worth on a much deeper level. Queen of Pentacles, which is allowing you to have the confidence, King of Wands, to go after exactly what it is that you want, no sugarcoating it. Again, here is a balance, uh, another balance between masculine and feminine energy, okay? Uh, let's continue at the bottom of the deck and then we'll get into the rest of this here because there's more. Underneath this King of Wands is the Three of Swords to the Queen of Cups. 
okay, to the Three of Cups. There is a strong sense of union between body, mind, and spirit here for you, Taurus. Maybe this is for the cross watcher. It doesn't matter. But for whomever this is resonating for, this is happening because you've healed a lot of your heartbreak, Three of Swords, and you've come to an emotionally un um, emotional understanding of it. You've come to an emotionally solid, stable, and grounded place from it. You've healed, in essence, from it, and now you have this union of body, mind, and spirit that's either coming together or has come together. I feel like for some of you, that fusion of body, mind, and spirit is going to be continuing as you move forward, um, and that's going to help you develop this reality, develop what it is, the new, that you're, you're creating for yourself. All right, Taurus? Okay. Excellent. I love this for you. This is fantastic. And actually, you know, this keeps in line with what we were talking about for January, because for January, the message was, but what does Taurus want? And now it seems like you're getting down to the bottom of that. That's beautiful, Taurus. Let's get into this here. First half of your reading. First set of surrounding energies for you. We have these. There you go. You have the Six of Swords. You're moving forward. Okay, you're definitely moving forward from rough waters to calmer waters. You're leaving the past behind. For some of you, there is a strong sense of entrepreneurship that I'm picking up for you right now. Like you're literally either starting a business or developing a new business um, or like revamping your business. This does feel business oriented for some of you. For others, of, like for some of you, if you've been in a line of work so far, it feels like this is this line of work is now evolving or developing into something that is much more um, specific to you, more in alignment with you personally, your personal sense of authenticity. Whereas in the past, the work, this line of work may have been molded by a certain form or molded by a certain outlook or the way it's normally done, a certain cookie cutter aspect to it. Now it's becoming more personally involved. It's more, it's becoming more personally you. It's like you've been in this line of work for long enough where you understand it on a much deeper level. And now you can take certain elements of it and make it work for you. I like that a lot, Taurus. Six of Swords is coupled with the Nine of Wands. You've been working towards this very, very for a very long time, Taurus. Um, I feel like with this Nine of Wands energy here, it's like you've been going Nine of Wands and the Six of Swords. It's like you've been plugging along on this for so long that you're not giving up now. But I also kind of feel like you're. It's like you're getting a second wind somehow with this Nine of Wands energy. It's like. It's like you've you've reached a point where you've been going, you've been you've been pursue, pursuing and persevering for so long, and now, you know, you've you. It's like your strength level has improved, and now you've been in this nine of wands energy, and you're continuing in this nine of wands energy. But it's like your energy centers, your energy stores have evolved, and now you're able to reach another power level with this nine of. It doesn't feel like this nine of wands is like exhaustion in perseverance. It feels like you're gaining more energy to persevere. It's this is a weird, a strange feeling. It's like you're the you're fueling yourself even. <laughs> it's so weird. It's hard to explain. Whereas you were kind of maybe in the past you were kind of feeling a little de bit depleted, but now it's like you're getting you're getting a recharge and you're you're allowed to move forward stronger with greater energy reserves in some cases for some of you. That's really interesting, Taurus. Okay. Uh, let's pause for a second. Sorry, I had to handle something there. Okay. Um, second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the first half of your reading, you have... You do have the Five of Swords. Um, and I do feel like this is people around you. This is competition. Um, I do feel like there could be some energies around you that are trying to sabotage you in some way. And it's interesting because um, some of them may see this kind of like glow up in you. It's as if there, there are individuals that are recognizing that you're gaining like this higher source of energy. 
a, a higher source of empowerment also. And it's like some people are going to try and come and like knock you down or sabotage or um, circumvent you or get you to trip in some way. The strongest thing that I'm getting from this Taurus is to literally just walk away from this energy. Do not engage. Okay. You come this far. You've worked hard enough. Don't allow this to be sabotaged now. I mean, it's not like it can be completely sabotaged. However, this can cause, I'm hearing minor inconveniences and hiccups that you may not necessarily want to deal with, okay? So just walk away from this Five of Swords energy. Five of Swords is coupled with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're inspired. You're guided. You know it, what it is you want. You know what it is you're going after. Do not let any sort of sabotaging energy come in and derail you now, okay? It's literally because of this sense of inspiration, this drive that you're feeling, this desire to move forward and create what it is you want to create for yourself is causing others to look at this and say, I want to knock you down because you shouldn't have this if I don't or something like that. Okay. For others of you, there could be an energy of going after what it is that you want at all costs. no matter what is thrown at you. And for some of you, I do recognize that you are aware of this maybe somewhat sabotaging element, but again, don't engage. Don't give in. Instead, stay focused here. Stay focused on what your inspiration is, Taurus. Don't allow any of this energy to stop you, to, to stop you in your tracks, to back you down in some way. All right, just keep moving, keep focused here, okay? Your challenge, Taurus, in the first half of your reading, there you go, is the Seven of Wands. So your challenge in whatever it is that you're manifesting or ever, however it is you're moving forward in your life right now, Taurus, your challenge is to maintain your boundaries. And what I'm feeling very strongly here, what Spirit is saying or what your higher self is saying in terms of this is remember what it is you've overcome to, up until this point. Okay, keep those last lessons intact, well and securely grounded in your foundation so that you don't have to deal with any major trip ups or slip ups in the future later down, on down the road. All right. Uh, uh, I feel like this is actually going to be a pretty strong challenge for you, Taurus, to maintain your boundaries and to not even react. Don't react to this energy here. Don't react to anyone that is inspired to try and sabotage or knock you down in some way. Don't even, don't even react to that. All right. Seven of Wands is coupled with, yeah, the King of Swords. Because it's not even, it's honestly, the challenge for you here, Taurus, in this first half of your reading is going to be asking yourself, is it even worth it to engage? I mean, it's interesting because this King of Swords is not even looking out. This King of Swords is staying very focused on the sword of truth that he has in front of him. And, I, and I'm kind of getting this energy, Taurus, of you asking yourself, is it even worth it to let down my boundaries and even respond, let alone engage? There's a higher awareness And for some of you, you're coming out of a previous um, a, 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 a previous point of view, whereas you probably would have engaged in the past. But now it's like you've risen above that at this point, and you're like, and you're kind of looking back, and it's like, wow, okay, I feel, I feel, the. I feel like engaging, or I feel like responding, or I feel like reacting. But I'm realizing that that's because of, that's just like a knee-jerk reaction or how I programmed myself in the past. That's not how I do it now. I see it differently now. So I'm even going to say to myself, is it even worth engaging this time? You know what I mean? That's kind of what I'm getting for you here, Taurus. There's a strong sense of a, a higher awareness here that is settling in, that is allowing you to even delete some programming from the past. That's beautiful. Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Taurus. Ah, but then there's the Nine of Swords. Okay, 
Okay, see, but that's part of this transitional period that I feel like for you here, Taurus. Very interesting. Um, that's part of this. The past and the ego that you're moving away from is kind of trying to trip you up here. Nine of Swords. Don't let it. Nine of Swords is coupled with... Yeah, there you go. The Magician. And see, these are very opposing energies. The Nine of Swords with the Magician. So it's because it's this Nine of Swords energy that can absolutely sabotage what it is you're trying to manifest with the Magician, right? What you need to remember here, Taurus, is that you are a master manifester. So do not allow this to stop you. Okay, uh, what I am getting from this closing message here, Taurus, is that you're definitely working on manifesting something new. And there are some fears from the past. There are some old ways of thinking, uh, old life cycles that may be surfacing right now in order to like derail you. But you know the truth at this point. You see clearly. You have. You need to maintain an objective point of view. That is your big challenge here, because you are, you're kind of, you're kind of in this weird energy, Taurus, of trying to create the new, but still kind of anxiety, anxious about it. Or there are some moments where fears will come up and try to oppose what it is you're manifesting. But don't let it. Stay clear on what it is you want. That is your challenge here right now, Taurus. Okay. All right, uh, let's get into let's get into the second half of your reading here. Here, yeah, let's get into the second half of your reading here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. In the second half of your reading, you have the Fool. This is good. Taking a leap of faith, moving in a new direction for sure. The Fool is coupled with. Ah, look at that. There's that Queen of Swords. Very interesting, Taurus. This is a very good energy because both this and this, between the King and the Queen of Swords here, this is really going to be what's helping you to manifest this new. For some of you with this Queen of Swords, and fool energy. It's the queen of swords here that's helping you take this leap of faith into the new reality. Because what I'm getting from this Taurus is some of you are saying to yourselves, look, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Okay, we're leaving this energy. Okay, the challenge being the king of swords and the seven of wands, right? You've overcome something pretty serious, Taurus. You've learned something. You, there's a change in perspective that's happening here for you. Or you're wanting something new. You've gotten to the, the maximum of what you could have done in the past. And you're overcoming something. And at this point, there is nothing left to do but leap. Right? To take this leap of faith. To move in the new direction. Because you can't well go back. Like you're on a plateau, you reached the plateau recently, and you were able to gain the wisdom, the nuggets of knowledge, whatever else, whatever it is you needed from that plateau, and now it's time to leap again. And there's no like if, ands, or buts about it. Like it's time to leap. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. In the second half of your reading, you have the lovers here. Like you're literally, Taurus, you're literally taking this leap for yourself here. What I'm getting with the lovers is like, you're at this plateau of the fool and the queen of swords. Like you're literally looking behind you saying, okay, I definitely can't go back there. Not that I, not that it's bad or not that I would even want to go back there, but I've grown out of that. So I can't go back there now. There's only, I can only go forward and... There's nothing here, so I've got to take this leap of faith. And then the lovers comes through, and this is your bond with yourself. 
Okay, this is your sense of inner union. And what I'm getting with this lover's energy for you, Taurus, is you're literally saying to yourself, come on, let's go, let's jump, let's do this, let's let's start this new chapter, let's go in this new direction for ourselves. This is right for us. Us being you communicating with yourself, right? Wow, okay. The lovers is coupled with... Wow, you guys, the two of cups. Yeah, dude. This is you really showing up for yourself. This is your sense of inner balance, inner harmony, and inner union within reflecting itself in the physical. The lovers to the two of cups, okay? This is, I literally feel like this is you having a love affair with yourself, Taurus. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> Your challenge here, Taurus, in the second half of your reading. Ah, there you go. The King of Pentacles. You're showing up here. What I'm getting for you here, Taurus, is the challenge for you in the second half of your reading is to bring this sense of independence, um, um, uh, uh, physical abundance, financial abundance. Your challenge is to bring that into, phys into the physical. For some of you, your challenge is now, well, okay, the challenge is to bring it into the physical, but what I'm getting with this, Taurus, is that you have the Queen of Pentacles, the lesson of the Queen of Pentacles under your belt in the past, like when we started the reading. And that's um, nurturance, um, growth, fertility, stability, and self-awareness or, or uh, um, self-awareness in terms of your worth, right? And so now your challenge is to take that worth, to plant those seeds and to grow something. King of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Uh, the King of Pentacles is coupled with the Eight of Cups. The King of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups is definitely giving me a feeling of going off on your own. And growing something on your own. There is a very solitary energy here with, with the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. And what I get with the King of Pentacles is ultimately over time is feeling like, yeah, I grew this on my own. I developed this on my own. I stood my ground. I protected the plot, I planted the seeds, I nurtured them, and now I've developed this on my own. The challenge here for you guys in this second half of the reading is now that you have gotten this lesson of self-worth and understanding what it is you're really truly capable of, now you've got to walk away. You've got to walk away from a good amount of, like I'm literally seeing somebody walking off into a field where it is just them and they're surrounded by bare earth that they can just build and develop and grow something on, right? It starts with one. It starts with you, the individual. The individual that has learned his or her self-worth and says to themselves, I am abundant and nurturing enough to go out and start develop something, developing something new. And from there, once you once you have your whatever it is you're developing, then you can join forces with somebody else. Very much an energy of getting your life solid and secure, your plot, your plot of earth stable and good so that now you can support yourself and then you can come together with another person if you are seeking some sort of life partnership or divine partner or whatnot, then you have something of value to add to someone else's thing of value and then you two have an empire together. That's of course, if you're looking for love and all of that, but that's, that's, off, that's way off down the road what I'm seeing for you now, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading, wow, there you go, the 10 of cups. 
this is your future. This is what you're working towards. This is what you're developing here. And you see how ultimately in the end, you come together with somebody else that has a plot of their own who's standing firm and tall and strong in their own energy. And then boop, there you go. Now, if this isn't love for you, if this isn't romance for you, then this is you ultimately achieving that which is what is um, your emotional wish fulfillment or what it is that you wanted. this, But with this Ten of Cups, this feels like what it is you want at this point. Yes, there may be some other people involved, but that's because y'all all came together on a common theme. This is a sense of community here, Ten of Cups, but what I'm feeling for you, Taurus, is this is a sense of community of people that have come together doing their own thing, which, of course, is going to take time, but, you know, whatever. Ten of Cups is coupled with the Ace of Cups. By you working on filling this cup of your own and making sure that this cup is constantly full and overflowing, ultimately it reaches you, it brings you to this Ten of Cups energy. But it starts with the individual. I love that, Taurus. I love that. See, look. Sorry about the sniffles. But look, Taurus, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, right? Well, finally, what brings you to that Ten of Cups is focusing on the self. Focusing on this energy here. Focus on the self. And how do I get my cup flowing and then continue that flow so that others' cups can fill up? And before you know it, we're at the 10. I'm happy. You're happy. Everybody's happy. Big old collective happiness party. But this all comes from honoring the self. Knowing your self-worth, knowing what it is you bring to the table and developing that, nurturing that, honoring that, growing that, developing that. Making space for you to develop and grow into what it is ultimately you truly deserve or want or desire. That's beautiful, Taurus. I love this for you. All right, Taurus. So let's close out this reading. This month, we're getting Oracle guidance from the Earth Warriors Oracle. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's close this out for you, Taurus. I'm going to give this five shuffles. And let's see what your oracle guidance is this month. Yeah? One. This is two. Three. Four. And five for you, Taurus. All right. So closing oracle guidance for my Taurus here for the month of February 2021. What closing oracle guidance do we have for Taurus? February 2021. Closing guidance for my Taurus here. Here it is. We have card number six, Amaru. The beautiful place. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, honey. Oh, there it is right there. All right. How are we going to do this? We're going to do this by... We're going to read this part. Your dreams of a beautiful, of a more beautiful world are not a product of childish fantasy nor idle imagination. They are true spiritual visions inspired by the universal heart that yearns for divine paradise to be manifested in all worlds. You have a life purpose to assist in the creation of divine harmony in the world through sacred activism and the expression of your soul talents. Believe that the beautiful world you long for is not only possible, but part of your spiritual responsibility to create. In a reading, this says, don't be scared to face a problem head on. 
You don't need to be willful about a solution, but in facing the issues, you shall simplify the complexity and recognize the practical steps that will create healing change. Keep your mind and heart open as you ask for unconditionally loving guidance as, you, uh, as to how you best evoke divine healing in any situation. There is an outcome available to you that is far more beautiful and divinely inspired than what you can currently envision. Ask for divine help and trust unconditionally in the assistance that will lead you away from the limitations of your current thinking into the perfection of what the divine wishes for you and our world. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you had a fantastic, have a fantastic month. Um, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, yeah? And I love you guys so much, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of March, yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>